man, I'm not going to be able to get up. <laughs> so, good morning. Uh, what is the date today? So today's uh, July 12th, about 6.45 in the morning, 58 degrees as you can tell. It's a little chilly. Uh, so we're going to talk about uh, my Starlink and the issues I had with it and how we had to fix it. So I had to install it. It's a pretty easy install. Everybody's like, you know, put it here, put it there, put it here. Uh, it, it wasn't too bad. So you have an app. We'll show you the app here. And then um, you have an obstruction thing. I don't know if you can see that. So my obstructions are just a little bit here. You see in the red. And that is that tree <laughs> right there. Uh, and occasionally it catches that tree over there. But it says, you know, no obstructions. Uh, the issue we were having was, you know, as you see, I am out here in the middle of, you know, rural America, <laughs> about seven miles outside of town. But you can see, I don't really have any neighbors and they don't offer us any kind of cabled network out here. And we've had really horrid service. I do have, you know, a neighbor or two, but there's not enough of us out here to warrant them bringing any kind of cable system in for our internet. <clears throat> so our options are our Starlink or some kind of off of cell tower stuff, which is what we've been doing. Now, there's a misconception on the Starlink, and we thought it too. So you know, what they show you is, uh, how come I'm not seeing nothing? Is it not recording? I don't know if it's recording or not. Oh yeah, it's recording. All right, so what they show you is, oh no, let, let's do a speed test, all right? So when I tell you they're gonna do a speed test, when you do that speed test, it is from this phone to that router <laughs> and that's it. It's not telling you how fast anything is. So that is a lie. And then the upload is a lie uh, because it's only to my phone. It's from my phone to that thing. And, and then when you do the other test, it's from that thing, the, the, the dish right here, to the satellite up there. <laughs> so, so that's the speed. So you need some kind of intermediate managing system to run all this. Uh, so I, we, we had some issues, you know. It's a lot of money when you buy this. The equipment's, the equipment's pretty expensive, you know. So you buy the equipment, you get it home, and then you're unbelievably disappointed with the, the service of it. But it's actually doing what it's supposed to be doing. You just didn't do enough information or enough, enough research to get the information you need to make all this work. And I did a lot of it. So let's go in the house and I'll show you what we did here. So, so with our dish on the ceiling, or on the roof, so with our dish on the roof, we have the router or receiver, and really its only function is to talk to that. So you got the light on the bottom and a cable coming out. This thing, uh, it works great, but doesn't know it doesn't know enough, and it can't handle the, the load when you put other things on it. So we did a router. All right, so the router, the router takes off some of that load and there's a special, I don't know where it's at, uh, here. So you can either spend twice as much on Amazon, and I'll put that link in the description below, or you can order it right from Starlink for half that price, like $25. That's what we did. So you can buy this adapter that plugs into this and then plugs into the wire and leaves it open for you to hook the router to it. Now you need the router to redirect everything, but that still wasn't enough. We kept dropping it, dropping it, dropping it. So I ordered a switch off of Amazon. And yes, it looks like an absolute nightmare right now. It's because I hastily put it on. Everything I do is online. But this made all the difference right here. This, so we need to, where's that wire at? You all need to see that, so get it here. All right, so it comes in a, an absolute nightmare down here. So this thing here is the wire, the $25 wire adapter. So 
uh, out of this into the router and then this is the from the Starlink on the or the, the dish on the, on the roof and then this goes here this gray one goes into this there's only one wire to this and then it comes out goes into here and then from here we come out into here now this goes to everything everything else is hard lined in the house the Wi-Fi is not so great uh, everything I do is online you know so when when I would upload I'd have to upload from my phone with my phone service and able to upload anything because we could never do it from my computer. Uh, when I tried to upload via Wi-Fi, it tanked the entire system without this. So these two things, it, it helped, but it didn't didn't completely do it. So adding the switch, I can now upload from my computer and everybody can pretty much watch things in 1080p. Now it's not perfect, by any means you know uh, we still have a little bit of dropout here and there but, but for the most part like like when it switches videos if you're watching videos it will lag a little bit at the beginning and do a little buffering but it's still way better than it was way better than it was you put more than two people on our internet before and the entire thing just buffered and we couldn't get anything done uh, so so I, I forgot to add that this is only designed to talk to the thing on the roof. It's not designed to take the load of a network. That's what these two things are for. This here decides where it goes, what goes, and how it goes. And this is just the, the router to take the heat for this. How, how I addressed those issues were we bought that switch or that, that plug from Starlink itself. That's like $25, like I said. Uh, we put a router in, and then from the router we put a switch in. And then we hardlined everything all my computers are hardlined now, they're not wireless or Wi-Fi anymore. Uh, Wi-Fi tends to tank this system. Oops, sorry. And so we, we got away from that. So uh, this is my line to here. This is uh, to one of my kids' room, and these, these are to both my computers in, in there. So it's, it's, it, it, it makes things much better. Now, we're still hooked to, still hooked to a Wi-Fi via phones. But we don't do enough on there to put too much draw on it. But we're Wi-Fi to this and not this. So you Wi-Fi to this, it's still kind of iffy on the phones, but it's much better here. I'll show you what I mean. Um, all right, so my networks. So these are all the things on it. As you can see, this right here, that is this phone. That's the dish hopper over there. That's Wi-Fi, and that's my printer. Everything else is in green at the moment of course my wife's phone isn't on here because she's not using it but everything else is hard lined in and so you see you know my phone is right right here right here and i'm i'm in the yellow i'm not even in the green so the wi-fi doesn't really work all that hot even even to this thing so but my phone's not hooked to this thing my phone is hooked to this because that's how we control it so that that's what we got with that uh, so I hope that helps um, You know I had to do a lot of research and it doesn't tell you all this in one place, so uh, Getting the switch and the router made made the world out of this so because you know This is really disappointing when you spend the amount of money for this equipment plus the hundred and ten dollars a month or whatever it is For it and then every time you use it it tanks and, and that was just ridiculous for that amount of money now this thing was designed, like I said, for us out here in the country. You do need other things. So we had a router and a switch and we hardlined everything. And that cured most of our problems. Uh, like I said, I haven't uploaded a full video. I just did a test run. And it was uploading way faster than anything I've ever had upload before. Even via Wi-Fi on our other network. So, uh, I hope this helps. And, you know... Y'all have a great week, weekend, whatever it is, whatever it may be, and we'll see you next time.